Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, this little segment is on suspension. What suspension does or and what suspension supposed to do versus what it often actually does. So, the first priority, first job of suspension is to move up and down and keep the tires in contact with the ground. The tire should never leave the ground. A tire in the air has a zero friction. So the first job of the suspension in the spring is to, and the linkages and everything, is to allow the tires to move up and down so whatever the body's doing, if it's rolling this way or that way or it's pitching slightly up or slight down, the tires never leave the ground. That's job one. Job two, and this is where the true performance comes from, is managing the tire, the tire angle, so it has a proper contact patch on the ground that's as close to the optimum as practical at any given moment in time. And that's what I'm going to try to illustrate over here in a way that's easily seen and understood. Okay, now. If we look over here, I have a straight edge using this board, which is supported and coming straight up off the pavement. And you can see the gap between the tire top and the tire bottom. Now, if you notice, it's pretty close to being even. And that's what you want when you're cornering because you want the tire contact patch to be a symmetrical rectangle, if possible. So, right now, it's pretty even. But... This isn't the way the car actually operates. It should operate with negative camber. The top of the tire should be inward slightly. Now, why is it even if it's supposed to have negative camber? Well, let me show you. You've got to put weight in the car. The single heaviest component of the car is the driver. Now, when I put my weight over here on the cockpit, this gets larger. See the gap here, the gap at the bottom? So now it's gone into negative camber. So it's trying to ride on the inside portion of the tire. Now, tire manufacturers will give you a figure they like to see because this is nothing but rubber and string. It's going to deflect. So, like, let's say a tire manufacturer says that they like uh, one and a half degrees of negative camera because they know at normal operating tire pressure that the carcass is going to deflect one and a half degree and tuck under and that's going to actually bring the contact patch vertical. That's going to bring everything to where the contact patch is symmetrical rather and the wheel loading is vertical. You also have compliance in the components that can bend and bushings that can give and when the car is going straight ahead and the suspension's running over bumps and up and down, you actually see this camber change. So, for really, really high speed work on an uneven track, it's and often under braking where the front end dives, the tires, the contact area goes to the inside edges, and that can make a car very squirrely under braking. Now, if the car never had to turn, we could have these links the same length and make a symmetrical parallelogram and that way as the links moved up and down the tire would stay vertical with the ground as long it would stay it would stay parallel with the chassis rather but we can't do that because the chassis has to corner and when the chassis corners if we figured our angles correctly and we know that the chassis is going to roll in this direction, then this linkage, this tilt change should compensate for the roll of the chassis. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to simulate a roll and watch the gap. See, I'm creating a severe roll situation and, the, and it's staying more or less vertical. And that's what you want. You want to manage the tilt of the tire the can so that the camber is always optimized for best cornering grip. Anything less than that, you're not going to get the performance out of the vehicle that's potentially there. Do that, and this is the this is the litmus test right here. It's what happens under cornering to those angles of those tires. And that's all about what suspension's jobs are. One, keep the tire 
contacting with the ground to control this tilt. You do that, you'll have a, have a good handling car.